little bit aware of, you know, in every city, in all the, I think, all countries in the world, there will always, always be a person sitting alone on a bench, and you can see not having the surplus to reach out themselves. And that's a part of our job to be a little bit aware of, like, maybe just stop by the person on the bench and say, hey, do you want to have a cup of coffee? Like, our company is the one that's, like, interacting the most. Oh. Do you experience that there's a lot of people from the local community who come around? Um, yes, but it takes time. Yeah. Uh, we have had this uh, project, it's called Bæredygtig Fællesskab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have it for almost two years. And I think it's almost, not to take any energy out of you, <laughs> but it almost took one year before we like got people to know that we are here and we have open doors and we are here for them. But the problem was actually that we attracted the wrong kind of people. <laughs> like we attracted the people from Jesborgade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to all our workshops. Like they were super interested in it. And we said like, hey, it's free. It's like totally free if you're living in, in Lundtoftegade. But if you live outside Lundtoftegade, you have to pay it. And the people in Lundtoftegade, they loved that. <laughs> They're like, ha, yes, finally there's something like exclusive for them. But the problem was that a lot of people wanted to pay from, like, to, to be here, but they were not, like, it wasn't actually for them. We have four, five companies here, and, for example, our neighbors who are up there, they don't have the same interest in, in, as us. Like, we really want to invite in, but they are a little bit afraid of some of the people coming, where it's been like um, actually quite interesting because I've been in contact with the um, garden ladies. There's like a big group of garden ladies and they are very passionate about their tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I think their voice is a little bit forgotten in this like, let's make a super nice space for all the companies. But the thing is that we're all leaving at five o'clock and they are actually very scared of the change here. Okay. They don't like it. Someone from this house thinks, oh, as open as possible because it's for the whole Nørrebro and let's invite everyone in. But for them, it feels like you're taking their small garden and like... Den socialøkonomiske virksomhed Frak synes konceptet symboliserer naboskab, kulturmøde, fællesskab og ejerskab. De tror, at klistermærkene kunne være gode for dem, fordi de nemmere kunne få fat i folk til at deltage i sociale arrangementer, hvis de ved, at folk er åbne, gerne vil og er interesseret i fællesskabet. De kunne sagtens forestille sig, at konceptet ville fungere. De fortalte også, at der allerede fandtes mere lukkede fællesskaber i området, men at det ville være rigtig godt med et mere åbent og diverst fællesskab.